Hello, I'm Jinx, and welcome to Anyland! Today we just got an update where we can use voice commands in scripts using the here and then whatever word or phrase, then, and then whatever script you want to trigger. So I had always had this great idea of doing spell casting. Um, obviously in my body here I've done spells from the book with some neat effects, but what I've done now, and I'm going to show you right here, is I've actually made... there... I've made a gauntlet that you can wear over your own hand. So let me roll up my sleeves here, grab it, and it fits over your hand. So there I have, you know, nice metal gauntlet. And when I, a nice view over here, when I hit the trigger, it will then tell the emitting block to go into a state where it can listen for different keywords and then fire off different spells based on that keyword as I've programmed it. So the crystal here will light up when I hit trigger now, and now I know it's in the state, so I can say fireball. Fireball. Okay. Plasma. Electro. Arrow. Oh, well, confetti is free. <laughs> Arrow. Icicle. Fireball. <laughs> it's so much fun. And then when I hit trigger again, it turns off, and I could say plasma, electro, icicle, and it won't trigger. Plasma. There we go. Electro. Fireball. On and on. So this is really neat. So what I've basically done is made an oversized hand that is a holdable and is um, when grips then held, held when gripped, and so it stays on, so it overlays and stays on like I'm wearing a glove. And that way I can also use the trigger to toggle the state. And then, uh, well, real quick, I'll just show what we did here. This block, this invisible cyan colored block, is the emitter. So if I context laser it, you'll see state 1, when triggered, then become next in 0 seconds. Next is 2. It actually jumps up forward. That gives it some space to emit, just in case it doesn't clip on any of that. And when, you've, when I've got it on, my finger's about here, so I also don't want it to clip. So on state 2, I have when triggered, then become next in 0 seconds. That just lets it go back. That way I can turn it off and I can control if it's going to fire off or not. Say so I get into a conversation about fireballs. I don't want that thing to go off by itself. <laughs> And the script I'm using, for example, for the fireball is when here's fireball, then emit. And let's see here. Do do. There's nothing special with the name. I actually when I emit a gravity free. Two is the name of the fireball. Two is the second time I've used it here. With 70 as a speed. And then play fire, start a poof. That's the woof sound effect. And then I've just done a different line for each effect. So when here's arrow, then emits a thing with the arrow impact. When here's plasma, then emit and... Fun fact, it also triggers if it's placed in the world and it's on that state. Uh, if, with, if you're within 7.5 meters, I believe. So I can actually say electro. Electro. There it went off. Fireball. <laughs> And goes, but yeah, so when here's electro, then it emits the electro at 70, play the electric shock zap sound effect. When here's icicle, you can just stack them as <laughs> far as it'll go. And that's just one use that I've thought of for this. I actually have a number of uses that I plan to use fireball, <laughs> plasma. Yeah, that's the quick and dirty, because previously, with this avatar, I'd hit this button, this book would come up, get out of here, and then I'd have fireball off my finger, fire blast, which is the big one, lightning, and a couple other fun things, because if you remember, I have the spell book, and I have, you know, my emitters, this opens to a different page now when I hit my arm button specifically for these effects. So yeah, we just got the new When Here's script, and this is pretty exciting. And I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of ideas for this one. 
So I'm going to have some fun with that. I have ideas for voice-activated passcodes for doors. I'm thinking in the Underground 2, maybe some puzzles where you actually have to speak to the door, kind of a King's Quest-style puzzle of, the, of sorts like that. Bunch of ideas just bristling through my head. It's, I'm very excited. It's very cool. So enjoy that, and have a great day.